All right, new studio, we're here, we're set up, we have these mics. If you're on YouTube, hi, this is going to be a thing now, filming the podcast. If not, hey, welcome, this is the podcast where we take everything that sucks and we put it on air. So yeah, if you're having a great day, just cut it out, stop yeah. that. We, we don't allow that around here. We are going to ruin your day and your life and potentially the lives of the people around you. Look, you'd be joining thousands of others that have had their lives ruined by this very podcast. So and you are not entitled to any compensation. No. Nevertheless, if you've never listened before, my name is Campbell Walker. I'm Bryce Mills. And what we do is we take awful things and we use them in an ongoing argument to prove that God has abandoned humanity. And I want to talk today about well, actually, it's a pretty good one. Today's your lucky day, Bryce. Mm. I'm going to teach you how to become a billionaire. Finally, man, I can quit this freaking life. I can be posted up. I've been waiting. Actually, it's funny you say that because I, I could talk about there's a 13-year-old that's dunking on us at the moment because he is actively doing things to become a millionaire or oh. billionaire uh, <laughs> by, you know, age 18 or whatever. That's why we're here. And everything that we're talking about is a God is dead, not clickbait. So whether you're on the YouTube, whether you're on the pod, whether you are blasting this on the bus speakers because you're a bus driver. I dare you. I you dare are. you. I double dog dare you. Yeah. It's time to do God is dead. God is dead. Case one. How to become a billionaire. Well, we want this advice, man. Of course. This is no-brainer stuff. Well, the good news is it's really, really, really easy. Is this one of those? There's a lot of meme pages, right? Men's Hustle, Entrepreneur <laughs> Advice, Fuck.com. Investors Daily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grindset. You know, all that, all that type of stuff. We've, we've been there and we know that a lot of this stuff, unfortunately, doesn't work. So I hope you're ready to actually buck the trend. Yeah, there's something I find really, really funny about those Instagram business pages that are mm. just like, buy one lemon, sell that lemon into two pieces, Boom, double profit. Do this for 14 million lemons. <laughs> yeah, well, because the, the thing is, it's always your fault. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. All the resources are in front of us. You could just get a lemon and, and if you're smart, you turn that into a house if you, you, poor if you wanted enough. piece of shit. Yeah, I guess we're lazy and stupid. <laughs> well, okay, so I've got a couple of things. There's basically a few things that I'm going to run you through. It's how to become a billionaire or a millionaire. So the first one is the most simplistic one. There are apparently, according to the page Business Aims, only two <laughs> ways to become, a mil uh, to become a billionaire. Yeah. One, find a problem and solve it. Or two, find a need and fill it. I marketing argue, 101, I, marketing 101. I think what annoys me about this is they didn't even need to make two different ways. <laughs> so you can see just how basic this is. It's, yeah. uh, I don't know, kind of corporate Memphis art style and then really blocky font all on, on like a black picture. Yeah. And it just grinds my gears. One, because it dramatically underestimates how challenging this whole thing's going to be, mm. which is the obvious take. But two, because I think that's actually, I think they're saying the same thing twice. Well, everyone's going to start somewhere. I just think they've used a thesaurus. Find a problem and solve it. Find a need and fill it. Yeah. Need, problem. Pretty similar. I, Solving, look, filling. Semantics. Semantics. You know? let's, let's give them the benefit of the doubt so far because this, uh, to my mind, is legitimate advice. Okay. Well, here's some more legitimate <laughs> advice. Bryce, you pay rent. Uh -huh. You filthy, poor animal. Slave to yeah. the system. <laughs> you are. So, would you like to know how to live rent free? Mm. Legally or le legally? No, legally, okay. legally. Yeah, yeah, in just three straps. So at Finance Mastering, this is the page. They've they've solved all our problems, Bryce. Mm. Are you ready? Mm. Step one: buy a triplex house. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Bryce, I, 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 well, I've that's why I'm paying rent because I haven't bought a house. You silly, stupid little boy. Wally, I, uh, yeah, I've noticed that you haven't even yeah. as we're talking. Fuck. Do, do you want me to pause the pod so you can buy a triplex? Yeah, what is that actually? Is that like a three story? It's like house? three. Yeah, no, 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 it's like three houses side by side. I, I can tell from the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So, step one, and this is, this is, I'm giving this shit out for free. So, oh, yeah, let me guess. you listeners, step one. Oh, yeah, guess what are we going like to do? You then you rent them to people and you make money while you sleep or something uh, like pretty that. Pretty much, pretty much. Okay, so yeah. So step two is live in one unit, rent out the other two. Yeah. Then step three is mortgage payments covered by rental income. Oh. I got news for you, buddy. Okay. Two rental incomes <laughs> are not going to outweigh three mortgage payments. <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not with the, the amount of money I have anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. Well, okay. But again, you know, technically true. No, kind of. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not technically true. The it's last just, part isn't true. No, the last part isn't true. And the first step just assumes so much about me. Oh, man. Like, hey, idiot, idiot with all your cash. Why didn't you think of this? <laughs> Why didn't you think of this? It is all... Okay, so again, I'm not learning anything that I haven't seen on other meme pages. They all do assume a lot. 
Well, if we need to make that big sum of cash, don't worry. I've got one, which is how to make an extra five hundred dollars a month. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Okay. So this is this could be realistic if they want to be. Or it could just be someone doing shitty maths. Yeah. All right. No, actually, good maths, but like just shitty life skills. Yeah. So they say make a one dollar app and sell it to five hundred people. Mm. I love that. That's like a one-off transaction, and it's, yeah. they, they haven't even said that it's a subscription. <laughs> so it's an extra five hundred per month, but this is just an extra five hundred. Yeah. All right. The second one: write a ten dollar ebook, sell it to fifty people. Again, that is just in one month. That's and <laughs> sorry, but like, oh, I mean, I don't know. It's like, how long does it take to write a book? You just found out. No, year and a half? Uh, yeah, yeah, year and a half. But dude, no, no, you just got to write, <laughs> write a book, write a $10 book. doesn't matter what it is. Just convince someone to buy it. Yeah. Well, 50 people every single month. Okay. Dude, passive income. Passive, I should have thought. <laughs> so passive. All right. So this is the first one that actually fills the brief of making an extra 500 per month. Sell 10 $50 subscriptions. <laughs> just do it. What are, what, are, what are they subscribing to? <laughs> what is this? Are they subscribing to infographics on how to make $500 a month? More tips at our Patreon. At Investor Supply. Yeah. All right. So then we've got sell $20 coaching courses to 25 people. Oh. I swear to fuck, the only people who buy coaching courses want to sell coaching courses. Yeah. Call me cynical. No, dude. I The amount of motherfuckers that I've seen with a coaching course, um, unfortunately, none of them are qualified to coach me. It's always the fuckwits that have got a coaching course. And it's. I remember actually in particular, there was one person that was in the year below me in school who, um, I shouldn't name it because it'll be too doxy, but <laughs> the, I shouldn't name what the course was, but um, <laughs> she was like, I'm now a like wellness coach at like this thing. And you don't need any qualifications and they give you these like pills to sell basically. And I remember this was like one of the people at school that really, you know, struggled to keep their life on track. Uh, yeah. And it's like, uh, maybe, maybe this is kind of cool, but I almost know for sure that it, because what it was is like, you could tell it wasn't actually legit because it would be like, and just ask me how you can become one too. Mm. Takes like a week and then here you are, you're a... Here we are. Yeah. And then we've got, okay, so two more ways for us to make half a grand every month. Mm. So this is going to help us buy our triplex. Okay, great, great, great. Good thing we're finding problems and solving them. Build a $100 course to five people. Oh, fuck me. So they're just basically being Doing like, math. They're just teaching us fractions. Yeah. Like at this point. <laughs> like That's literally it. And then the final is make a $25 trade 20 days every month. Dude... Like, I don't know if you've ever seen day trading memes. No. Every single meme is, you will lose money day trading. Oh, really? <laughs> time in the market, not timing the market. <laughs> yeah, and so that's the thing. This is very much assuming that, like, these are all consistent hustles that will always have your, you know, income at the exact time that you think it'll be. And literally zero overheads. Like, of course. <laughs> not even factoring in that, yeah, writing a book and, like, all these things definitely require other investments. But Dude, This is the stupidest one, so it's funny that you talk about fractions. This one's literally just teaching us about multiplication. How to turn a penny into 5.4 million in 30 days. <laughs> and then it's got, like, what might look like a calendar. <laughs> so it's, it's just, like, increasing squares. in value, I yeah, assume. No, it's just doubling each time. So one penny, two pennies, four pennies, eight pennies, 16, 32. Yeah, you get the idea. Until on day 30, you have $5.4 million. Man, if you can find something that is going to double my money overnight, every day, consistently, reliably for 30 days, yeah, I'll chuck a penny in. Yeah. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Does this person live in this wonderland where this is a possibility? Is this what they think Elon Musk did? I, I think they do, man. Damn. Like, you know, Tesla started being worth this much money and now it's this much money. Dude, that's so good. This one has a picture of Jeffrey Bezos. Okay. <laughs> and it says how to make a million dollars. And it's like sell a 200 product to 5,000 people. Or, and then it just basically does just math. So $500 product to 2,000 people, $4,000 product to 250 people. It's like they, do you assume I don't understand <laughs> math? Yeah, if I sold a $1 million thing two times, I'd have $2 million. Yeah, but then they divide everything by 12. So then they go $5,000. 5,000 people pay 17 bucks a month for 12 months or 250 people pay $333 a month for 12 months. No mention of tax, no mention of overheads. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just what it is. Nevertheless, these people continue. All right, I've got two more. Uh -huh. Okay, this one's a little bit more realistic than billionaire. Be a millionaire in five years. All right. There's six, All right. six easy steps. Okay. Easy, huh? Okay. Avoid bad debts. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> Do you want to get involved in bad debt? Create multiple income streams. Yeah. <laughs> Have a plan. How? 
how are we doing any of this? Not sure. The why, why are you asking questions, dude? <laughs> I'm telling you information. Always work hard. It's always that easy. Yep. Keep learning. Yep. Ask for help when in need. Dude, like in five years' time, man. If I did all those things. You are going to be a millionaire. It's called manifesting. Oh, my God. It fucking shits me, man. This shits <laughs> me so fucking much. Because it's like learning money is a skill, just like learning medicine or learning how to be a podcaster. What <laughs> What's interesting is like... None of them are on par. None yeah. of this shit like also... You're not allowed to like... Spend too much time trying Is what I've figured out with these It's like Hey I have these dreams of being like a Huge Twitch streamer I know it's going to take like five years of constant You know only one person's going to watch the stream For the first year But you know and it's like Oh well, why don't you do something quickly <laughs> <laughs> Like that's not going to be That's not quick enough for me Yeah 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 so, Oh but it's really satisfying at the end And then like I don't know And it's like mm, no thanks I'll be doing work hard for one minute And then reaping the rewards Ten push up yeah. That's all you need. 10 push-ups once and I'm a bodybuilder. All right. Well, this is pretty cool. So, neither of us are 40 for a while. So, this might apply to us. All right. How to become a billionaire by 40. Okay. All right. So, they have, they have like a decent amount of time. Okay. Four steps. And I would argue these are all in the wrong order. Uh, <laughs> one, invest in yourself. So, I'm just going to say this. What does that mean? Dude, what that means. That, for me, is the biggest red flag. Whenever you see somebody and they are like a self-help guru and they say, invest in yourself, what they are really saying is, at the end of this, I'm going to sell you. Buy my merch to give you the edge. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to sell you a course. And if you don't buy that course, you won't be successful. That's the thing when you always hear people that are doing some unsure shit and they'll be like, no, no, no. It's like an investment in myself yeah like, and, and there's definitely legitimate times where that's a great thing but there's For people sure. that kind of like know they don't even want to be an actor being like no 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 this seven thousand dollar acting course it's an investment in myself mm-hmm. well fuck it, it if anything it's um it's a reason to you know become an actor because you but, spent this money yeah, on it but, but it but sounds like, like an investment in them dude I'm just going to say it. All that, all that information is free me, yeah I don't know if you need to pay money to get yourself committed I understand that but you don't need to pay seven thousand dollars. All right. Step two. So we're all becoming billionaires by forty. Yeah. Save to invest. Sure. I love save to invest, not invest. Just save. like save. <laughs> Leave that shit in the bank and let inflation destroy you. No, save to invest. Like, how about invest? Mm. All right. Three. Go for ten billion. I actually do agree with that. Always aim high. Shoot for the moon. Sure. And even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Yeah. Amongst the billionaires, Bryce. Oh yeah. Amongst the two and a half thousand billionaires of this yeah. seven. Plus billion people no, on this one, planet. Now that'll be, be you, bro. That'll be you because be you one. follow at Investing Simplified. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, step four, and I love that this is the fourth step. Write down goals. Well, shit. That that is actually somewhat legitimate. I I, I can say there's some something to do with writing down goals is good. Yeah. I I mean, like, and I think that's what shits me about all of these pages is that they are somewhat legitimate. There is... That's the thing. It's all based on a seed of it thing. But it's like when you... Like, it's... Holy shit. It's like when, you know, even like the idea of manifesting and stuff, right? It's like, look... You need to be open the, to the possibility of something before you can get it. And like, you know, it's like if you really... If you're like trying to be a... Let's say you're trying to be a rapper or something and... By by believing and doing all these things, you're more likely to put yourselves in situations where the things that are, are strokes of luck can happen to you. But it's not about sitting at home and just like watching a video and being like, that's going to be me, me one day. Sure. You know, you have to legitimately do stuff. And part of it is like, there is the slight edge of like, if I think I can do it, then... I'll be more likely to at this party where I can see there's this producer I've always wanted to work with, go up to him and be like, yo, like I'd love to, you know, do a track together. But that's not because you sat at home drawing on a piece of paper being like, rapper me one day. <laughs> you know, like, it's because you like, but yeah, we're a proactive. Um, anyway, I know there's people that swear by it, etc. Should we judge it? Let's judge it. Final judgment. If this is your first time listening to God Is Dead, this is the part of the podcast where we ask, does the heinous content that we have reviewed prove whether or not God has abandoned humanity? Bryce, is God dead? Yes, um, unfortunately, uh, this Instagram post might not be an example of it, but usually there's a lot of people that financially fall victim to this kind of bullshit, right? Mm. You know, selling the idea of big success, be the best version of yourself, blah, blah, blah. And it's intoxicating. I think you and I definitely have that 
like we're prone to that type of messaging or oh, I know I am where, where someone's like you could be incredible and I'm like I could be incredible yeah. they're like pay me money I'm like pay you money yeah 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 totally and like the the thing is like with all this stuff exactly there is there is enough of it that it's technically true but they kind of <laughs> they don't tell you actually what to do they're just like it's like if I was to just just to say the way to get a podcast is to to record every week step one by mic step two record record step three a million subscribers make sure, yeah make sure you do it consistency guys consistency step four monetize that's part of it mm. and then the step four monetize it's like oh so what should a podcast be about well sorry your time's up man the uh the 60, <laughs> 60 minute lectures that's over. your session bro um sorry but that's just how it's gonna be so you know unfortunately dude you gotta take you gotta be a certain it was what's always weird to me as well is like you know like people who came up through the scene let's say like the arts or something and they're like they know how fucking hard it is mm. then they become teachers and just like make make it hard for the next oh, generation to come see, in just because so much they in the tattoo think industry. it's hard right yeah, like tattoo apprentices they're like it was hard for me so fuck you guy tattooing at home it reminds me of that it's like i'm not going to tell you everything because well i didn't have this Mm. Uh, but I'll act like oh, Don't worry guys I'm giving you the keys But it's actually The most vague shit ever Oh yeah I also Work hard and be humble like, oh, Okay what else mm, And my general rule For any advice is Don't take it Unless the person Has done it How do I know That the person Posting on Investor Daily Is a billionaire They're telling me How to become a billionaire But I don't think They've done it I don't think They're a billionaire It's a graphic designer Yep That's read on WikiHow or something. Yeah, that's Red Rich Dad Poor Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I think unfortunately, you know, the, this might not be an example of where it ruins your life, but it's a slippery scale, and um, you start getting addicted to a little bit of the memes, and then you read, oh, invest. Okay. Oh, I'm reading a lot about um, Bitcoin at the moment. Invest everything. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, which wouldn't be the stuff. worst idea. Listen, if you want to make money, don't <laughs> listen to these guys. <laughs> Don't listen to us, but or us. I think God is dead because of unsolicited advice. Basically, like the blonde leading the blind. If you or the blind leading the blind. So if you package anything nicely enough online, I'll believe it. And yeah. that's just a guy that's like pretty skeptical, pretty everything. But I will see, especially fitness stuff. Mm. I get that in my algorithm a lot, and um, I'll just be like, "All oh, right, this is the way to you know do like this." And then some guy will stitch it and be like, "This is wrong, 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 wrong." You're like, oh, whoops, I believed him. Yeah, completely. I think it's similar to the piss drinking case that we were talking about, where it was shot so beautifully, yeah. and there was a little part of me that's like, "Oh man, I should I should be drinking my own piss." Yeah, it looks nice. And there's part of me that sees this, and then when these pages actually do drop, you should invest in this particular thing. Then you're like, "Oh yeah, man, I'll, I'll do that." Yeah. Or like, "Why you should buy our course?" That's always it. So I yeah. think yeah, any kind of preying on anybody vulnerable or anybody who has a desperate need that needs to be filled by somebody who hasn't actually done that in their own life, that to me is the most godless shit because yeah. then we're all just lemmings jumping off a cliff. Isn't that so common? There's so many like life coaches and stuff, right? And I know them. I'm like, hold on. What and did, I, what I did say you this do? as somebody who has a self-help YouTube channel. Right. But you're talking about examples I'm only of talking life, about myself. Right? Hopefully. I mean, I reckon I, I definitely, like I must have blind bit. spots, you know, without mm. a doubt. Mm. But it has made me think a lot more about this category and how dangerous it is and how low the barrier to entry is. Yeah. Ugh. God's dead? Absolutely. God is dead. Case two. What my 13-year-old son does to become a millionaire. Well, this is just a little mini one. It's um, a really awkwardly filmed video that I just needed to share. It's literally, a, obviously, this guy... Uh, he is a real estate broker, investor, and developer, CEO of Don't Buy This, Buy This. It's mm. 1.3 million followers on his account. And here he is with his son in front of, I don't know, the car looks like maybe a Bentley. Some sort of baller car that yeah. we can't afford. It says uh, he's got Yeezys on, a hoodie, and Nike like tech fleece pants. The kid has some uh, low LED dunks, I don't know, um, and hype beast. October's very own jacket on <laughs> what my 13 year old does on his spare time to become a millionaire the video on YouTube you'll see it a bit clearer we'll try and describe it for you for the podcast but is a little bit gunpoint <laughs> I feel like what my 13 year old kid do on his spare time to become a millionaire number one I watch YouTube TikTok and Instagram videos about successful people in their businesses 
gets this awkward thing when your parents make you perform the trumpet in front of them at a family gathering. It's like, all right, now you take it away. Like he sort of points <laughs> dun, to the kid. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, look how good he is. And he's looking at the camera, the dad being like, yup, yup. And the kid's That's got, my son. You know, I guess it's, you, at, at best you could call it a teenage posture. At worst, you could call it a, a gunpoint posture. Like <laughs> just sort of, um, yeah. And, you know, he's... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I watch YouTubers who talk about money. And look, he's 13, so he's not meant to know everything. But, you know, the reality is... That's not going to be enough, but let's see what else he's doing because I'm interested. Mm-hmm. Number two, I asked my parents for tips on how to become successful. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's again cool. That like, wasn't fed to him. You are trying, and like it's it's so fair to him how the dad's like going number two and then like looking at him and nodding aggressively. Do it, do it, yeah. Mate. yeah, say the thing, do my TikTok. Three and most important, Hudson, what do you do for fun? Be a kid, play baseball play video games, and hang out with my friends. Uh, Doesn't look like you have much fucking fun with your facial expression, my guy. Man, that is just so indicative of talking heads who just like to be controversial. You know, like how there was that like huge Silicon Valley trend of people being like, play is important. That's why oh. here we allow four hours a day for you to play. Yeah. And it's increased productivity. I'm like, probably, but shut the fuck up. It's the, it's the bullshit thing about like, you know, when people go, oh my God, Google looks like so good to work. And like, they probably are, but like, it's because they, you know, the reason they have a playground at Google is because they demand fucking excellence. So like, if you're going to have time on the playground, you will be here until 3 a.m. If that thing requires you to be here till 3 a.m. It's not like the playground isn't there because it's just purely for fun there's a reason that you can get your laundry done at google and you can get your freaking coffee made and you of course that's most places you can get your dinners provided at facebook or wherever it's like yeah because you are gonna be putting in some 12 to 15 hour days total bummer i used to work at this ad agency which was so proud of all its perks and man i think i saw people using the pool slash ping pong table area once yeah once in my time there I was like, ah, uh, okay, I think I can see what's going on. They get people to do it for the tour. They'll show you a tour and like, look, and we have people using the ping pong table. And as soon as you leave, they've stopped doing it. You You're know? like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll see what else he says. Yeah, I don't think it's anything crazy. If you're going to be successful at anything, remember, you got to put in the work and you got to have fun on the journey. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, like, like, not untrue. That's not untrue. But <laughs> like, you didn't actually really tell me what he was doing with his money. No, it's not real. Hey, look, he's 13, so he's he's putting in some effort. Mm. Sounds like dad's telling you, do this, do that also. And then also, that's the thing. The comments are like, bro literally reading a script, y'all forcing him. And the reply is, if he's reading a script, he's doing a damn good job. Can you read and do it on social media? <laughs> Dead soul kid. I'm sorry for him. Don't feel sorry for him because he's doing good. He's being a kid and makes a lot of money and becoming a millionaire one day. You wish you was in his shoes. Damn, bro. That's full dance mom energy from that dad. Bro, just want to get back to war zone. <laughs> um, it, is, it is like, you know, the dad hasn't disproven the fact that uh, unfortunately this kid is at gunpoint. And uh, <laughs> I will do this and then I watch this and then do this. Maybe he is doing that stuff. Maybe he just needs to learn some public speaking, but I'm going to give the kid the benefit of the doubt and say the dad needs to learn to chill the fuck out. Final judgment. When it comes to this 13-year-old and his billionaire dad, are we thinking God's dead or alive? It's not like that brutal. It's not, but I find God's not dead because the advice is just simplistic and not in any way telling us what, how to become millionaires. I think God's dead because of people living out their dreams through their children. Oh, It God. annoys me. It reminded me of when we were talking about the Jats moments oh, case yeah. and how what it <laughs> led to was just this huge hole of four-year-old influences and their mums were taking the photos. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like As we progress into social media maturity and as people are having more children, should we not ask them for consent before they're 18, before sticking them online for our own personal gain? I am really curious what happens in 10 to 15. 15 years when like the kids that generation just, alpha will put on social media against their will uh what are they going to do when they get old enough is it going to be out there especially the kids that um uh, you know I'm, especially those like family youtubers where it's like all right guys we're a family channel and we document every fucking waking moment that our kid has including their embarrassing like kid moments and we have fights on camera and we do everything and we've monetized it. And the kids are also, they have haters before they're even at school. Like, they, you know, I think that's shit, man. You talk about in interesting ways to make money. Like, that's one mm. of them. That's the one way to become a millionaire before 13 is be part of a family YouTube channel. <laughs> but 
if your parents are, and this isn't this guy we're talking about, but in, just in general, if your dad's got a camera the whole time, is he really listening to you? You know what I mean? Like, of course. Is he? Is he? Yeah, are you having a genuine connection, or are you just doing it for the vlog? I know. And then, meanwhile, the irony of Spruiking play and just being a kid. While you're like filming him for views, I and play and I will be a kid him. at all times because I, I like baseball fun. and friends. No, 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 no. Hey, man, yeah. I'll put it, I'm hoping that he's just not the best public speaker at this age, but um, I also have a feeling that dad was like, Come here, I've got an idea. Do it. All right, God's dead. I don't know about you, Bryce, but I am rich. Oh, totally, man. I can feel my pockets swelling up. I can feel my digital portfolio getting bigger and all while being able to still play baseball and be a kid. I am engorged with wealth. Yeah. I am an opulent you. Campbell. Absolutely. And, and it's honestly a testament to the generosity of these creators online that have made it so easy for us to do that. Of course, follow the advice. This podcast might be worth a million dollars one day. Yeah. With all the free and advice a lot of people it. will give disclaimers like we don't give out financial advice on the internet. No, me and Bryce do. This yeah. stuff is 100% factual and yeah, just go for it, honestly. Yeah, All so. of the things you heard, in our opinion, would definitely work and would definitely be really wise to, especially if you have a lot at stake. I think it's even more incentive to yeah. let that all fall to the wayside and chase it as hard as you can. Bang on the money. Yeah. All right, so everything that we talked about, if you want more financial advice, is it God is Dead, not clickbait? Uh, our YouTube, God is Dead, is uh, just look up God is Dead podcast. Let's just get, subscribe. Let's subscribe. get the subscribers up. Yeah. Even, if, even if you don't subscribe to anything. Yeah, this shit's going to be on there now. Here we are in this new little studio. And of course, uh, also, if you want to leave a review, that's a good thing to do. Just try and get this thing happening. If we can get a couple more reviews, a couple more subscribers, who knows? Oh, yeah, the theme this week for reviews is oh, just god awful financial advice. Just mm. give it. Oh, by the way, if anyone else is reading this review, just note, you know those Instagram bots? Like, I, I put 100% like, of my money yeah, into yeah, it yeah. at Bryce B. Mills. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't looked back. Best yeah. day trader out. Yeah. Do not read this review if you don't want to come instantly. <laughs> like one of those. Yeah. So, so yeah, give us that. Yeah. Mm. Give, yeah. Get filthy with it. Anyway, filthy financial advice. Filthy fucking rich. Yeah. Follow Bryce. Bryce V. Mills. Campbell Walker. Struthless69. And that's about it from us. So go get rich because we love you. Love you. Case closed.